what it do what it is y'all should like pop aka soda baby aka azuka and you're not tuned in so talk to me But most importantly, please make sure y'all like this video because as you like this video, I'm moving numbers. As I'm moving numbers, I'm moving the algorithm. As I'm moving the algorithm, I can start doing my giveaways. And I get to grow with you guys on YouTube. Get to see how y'all really feeling. I'm going to get to call that number and talk to see how my people really feel. I need to talk to my people. My people. So make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. And you know what? Liking this video feels like when you wipe your feet at the door when you come to somebody's house. You know, liking this video is like saying hello when you come into a room. Say hello when you come into a room. Say hello when you come in the room first. Be polite, sit down. Make sure I like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at it's Black Pop and my backup page, Soda Talk TV. Hope we can get into the video. Next on the docket, we have Lizzo Moons Us on IG Live for receiving backlash for the glitter see through dress that she wore to Cardi B's dance hall themed birthday party. Happy belated birthday. Barty B. Let's get into this outfit. Interesting. You know, I mean, oh God. Okay, I'm gonna save my commentary for later so it can make sense. Now let's watch her moon us. <laughs> I just wanted to put out there that I've seen the comments about my outfit. Not all of them, but I've seen the stupid ones. And you know what I say to that? Oh God. Oh. Kiss my Oh. oh. Ah. <laughs> Period. Kiss my fat black In all honesty, Lizzo was dressed for the occasion. But this is the thing, like, if you're so confident and you don't care about the haters, at what point do you stop addressing them? Because it's like everyone has haters. And not only that, it's just the fact that I feel like Lizzo thinks like she feels like the she this is her formula and she knows it and she likes it low key i feel like she's gotten so comfortable with the backlash that it's like i feel like she likes it and i think behind closed doors she really laughs at this and she knows that this works because the music ain't selling what the f is this in helen i what the hell do you want that pitch you fella i am the generous queen Ask Miss Ellen. Like, so why not be the troll who cried fat? You know, her and her team definitely get a kick out of it because who's helping her pick out these outfits? Her and her stylist. And what does she do? She puts on whatever she puts on, does some type of whatever, and then goes on a rant about people being fat phobic. They don't accept her. Get a reaction. Get attention. The end. You know? And like I said, celebrities are professional cloud chasers. And she doesn't, well, people be trying, oh, she's trying to say like, oh, she's so talented. I mean, if you can teach somebody how to twerk and play the flute, I don't really see you being that special, honestly. You know, if you can be, if you can be taught it, you can be replaced. So there's that. And it's just like, it's not even the fact that you can't wear what you want. You just, Lizzo just can't dress. Like, you're tacky and you're sloppy. And if I, I just wouldn't wear that. Like, but if I had to wear that, I would at least dress it up and make it look good. At least wear something like a real bra, a little corset to make you look more shapely. You know, that just wasn't my style. And that's just what it is. And while we're on the topic of fashion, Let's talk about some outfits. Y'all can leave in 2021 today. First on the list, we got this cow print. 
I don't know who started this country, but it gotta go. It's ugly. It's country. Your country bumpkin, and I don't like it. All over there, smell like bunk and Hennessy and shit. Oh, hell no. Nah. You're like, come on, man. Nah. This is some country shit. Uh, like. I, like, like when I think of cow print, I think of a fat horse who can't run, who has a hanging, dangling gut with the things on the thing right there, like that. <laughs> like, come on now, when it, like, when, when, like, how do you think a nigga think of you? Maybe I'm sure men don't think that deep into it, but when I think of cow print, nothing about cow print sets gives me sexy. Like cheetah, girl, the leopard. It's like you're walking, you're prancing on your prey, but a cow is just mooing with their cowboy hat and their daisy dukes, and they put on their cowboy boots and go moo. <laughs> like stop it, like stop. You know, one. It's one of those things when you trying to be too different, it just don't turn out right. <laughs> you know what I mean? I've had those moments when I like cut up some. I'm like, damn, this this. Let's we'll just find a way. <laughs> like, uh, that we need to leave. Hated it. Next outfit we need to leave in 2021 is this pink jumpsuit with the damn corset. You know, these are one of those outfits that's been seen way too much. And it needs to leave in this year. It's a trendy outfit. It's too common. And it's like, it's one of those outfits we be like, you one of them, huh? You one of that's it's that you one of them outfits. Hated it. It needs to go. And it's not even the fact that it's ugly. It's just been seen way too much. And you better not be caught dead in 2022 with that outfit on. Hated it. Next on the docket, we got this Mitch Match shoe. Sh 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 this Mitch. I hate this shirt. I hate it. It's like certain things like when you have like the shoelace it's like that with your boob showing you got the shoelace oh that's the sexy part then you got this color this color that color that color it's like it's too much going on like pick one color <laughs> you know what I, mean? I like that shirt in like a solid black or a solid red with maybe like the white shoe you know solid it's just too much going on and it just looks cheap but i hate it huh. i think that those are the top three outfits things that Y'all need to stop wearing in 2020 today. Okay? Alright. <sighs> Next on, I always feel like somebody's watching me. Next on the line, we got two chimes. And the source reads, the birthday rapper posted a screenshot from his phone that read, the location of this air tag can be seen by owner. An air tag is an electronic device. <laughs> That's what I get for trying to be extra. An air tag is an an air tag is an electronic tracking device from Apple that was made to find keys and electronics. But apparently, someone managed to plant the device on chains or his belongings. Chains replied, "I can't wait to promo new clown ass niggas. I need the promo. You know, this ain't even funny. Like." How creepy is that? I'm about to go back to the trap phone. I'm about to go, like, what's up with Team Android? You know what I mean? Because this shit is getting too personal. But at the same time, if he didn't have an iPhone, he wouldn't have got the notification and the tracker would have been able to ride all the way home with him. Like, what the f There's no privacy at all anymore. Even for the little people, we getting scammed every day from the hackers and it's just the and the, oh yeah that reminds me the other day when i was on my phone i had got a notification that said sign in as black pop on like apple tv or something and i said decline so that was just really really creepy and it's like usually when we get notification we just like to dismiss 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 exit 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 out i'm we gotta start reading these goddamn it's like people will really try to take your identity you know what is this like the attack of the hackers the return of the nerds you know what I mean like good thing I'm still poor because he ain't got nothing to steal like just imagine somebody like put a track like drop something in drop one of them things in your bag and follows you all the way home and knows where you live and all this stuff and even would put like a little camera on it 
Oh my god, I'm thinking too deep into this. <sighs> Man, two chains, make sure you get them, boy. I'm leaving, boy. Next on the line, we got Nick Cannon with his new daytime talk show. Failed to impress viewers with bringing in less than 400k viewers for his first week of broadcasting. Let's get into this article by EUR Web. Nick Cannon's new daytime talk show has reportedly failed to impress viewers and is unlikely to replace Wendy Williams, according to reports. Radar writes, the mass singer hopes reportedly brought in a measly 400,000 viewers a day for his first week of broadcasting late last month, landing the self-titled series at the bottom of the talk show pack. And what else does it say? It says, per the report, Cannon's new talk show also received a slew of devastating reviews with Showbiz 411 writing, Cannon's recent past supporting Louis Farrakhan making anti-Semitic statements won't find him a large audience. He can't even get ex-wife from right Carrie to be a guest. Damn. <laughs> it doesn't appear as if Cannon will be essential viewing for many. Although if you are a big fan of Cannon, you surely will like this version of the celebrity in which he turns his quirks, personalities, his quirks and personality up to an 11. And yeah, to be honest, I never, you know, it always felt like Nick Cannon was doing Wendy Williams a favor. He was never going to replace Wendy Williams. That's if Wendy Williams is going to come back for another season, you know, because she's been down for a long time. Like they've been postponing this for the last like month now, you know, and if we really look at Nick Cannon, like it's the fact, the reason why he has to appear this way on TV is because he wants to keep all of his industry connects, all of his friends, and because of that, he can't get messy, you know, because we want the mess, we want the shade, and he can't give us that, and, you know, he's just, Nick Cannon's like, he's cheesy, and he's corny, like, I like him better on Wild and Out, like, that's where he can really let loose, he can't really do daytime in my opinion we need controversy like we need you to talk about the things that make us uncomfortable but without you tracking back and saying sorry massa if you know what i mean and you know who i think would be um i think nene leaks would be a great replacement for somebody who could fill in wendy williams shoes because she's quick on her thinking she's quick on her feet you know, and she claps back. And a lot of people like her and a lot of people know her. I personally was never into um, Housewives, but she has a big name. And for me to even, you know, think of her like that, that I feel like it says something, even though I don't, you know. But nonetheless, I think Mimi Leakes would be a great fit for Wendy Williams. What y'all think? And last but not least, we have who dropped some new music. We have Young Thug Punk Album. How y'all feel about the album? be honest I said that it was horrible but you know listening back to it it feels regular it wasn't it was just young thug young thugged he did what he usually does and he's one of those artists that are just so out of the box that when he does good it's amazing but when he does bad it's really bad it's horrible and I just feel like he was in the middle um, he does have a few songs that I do like on there, and I'm so late. I didn't know Dropping Jewels was out for the last two months. And listening to it back now and thinking about it, I'm like, I think I did hear him performing on, like, one of those, like, what is it called? Like, the Tiny Desk? I think I heard him performing it before because it was so good. That's why. Anywho, but, um, nonetheless... It was okay to me. I wasn't too impressed. I wish I was because he's so out of the box that it's like you're looking forward to hearing him. You know, he had amazing production. Like the beat that him and um the song called Stress featuring J. Cole, that's my second favorite song on there. The song he got with Mac Miller is my third favorite. I have like six good songs that I put on my playlist. I'm like, okay. I don't I, you know, J uh Young Thug, he's gonna be who he is. You know what I mean? And what else about that? 
Honestly, another thing about the production with Young Thug, it sounds like he rushed it. I'm not gonna hold you. It sounds like they told him, look, you got you got your deadline is coming up, you got a week left, you need to turn in something, and he did it in a night and he dropped it. <laughs> you know, that's how it felt because I was able to hear the mic on some of the tracks when he would like say put like certain words. Because it just sounds like it wasn't mixed and mastered, some of the songs. And I'm just like, well, I guess. Well, you know, Thug gonna be Thug. He sounds good on, um, he sounds good on Expensive Taste uh, with Meek Mill. Um, what else song did, what else did he do this year? I, I think that's the only thing I remember from him this year. But yeah, nonetheless, you know, the album cover art is nice, too. Um, and yeah, that's what I have to say about punk. And last but not least, we have Jesse Nelson featuring Nicki Minaj. Boys hated it. You know, there was nothing original about the song. Her as an artist, she doesn't. Jesse Nelson does not draw me in at all. I feel like the only thing that was so controversial that made people even talk about her and look at her video was the fact that she was in blackface which she was the girl look at this look at the picture of her and look at the picture of her and Nicki Minaj she's darker than Nicki Minaj interesting uh, anywho but I'm but let's not get too political shall we you know the song I feel like uh good lord you know Diddy had all his hands in it all of it did the song all over but you know there's nothing original about it and there's nothing impressive about it i listened to it once i had to skim through it i just wanted to see the video she could dance but the song was terrible the song was trash and it's not even on the charts no more but we'll see if it bounce back um what else uh yeah what else did i, I had more to say about that but i can't think blackface Terrible song, unoriginal. <laughs> yeah. I, I had way more to say. I just can't think of it right now because it's 6 47 a.m. It's just like, just because you grab an old classic song, that doesn't mean it's going to be a hit. Just like that song called Gallus featuring that boy. Been in the Gallus. Gallus. I don't like that song. Y'all trying to make that song something so bad i'm not listening they had to remix that song on tiktok and speed it up for me to listen to it like then they had tried to throw chris brown and who else was on the remix of the gala song no boy and just because you throw on the intro of back that ass up does not make it a hit if you were talking about some gallus we needed us a dance hall mix not no damn back that ass up and then you go into your new york kickstep dance not at all I guess that's all I had for Bop or Flop. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Which one's your favorite song on punk? Do you like any of these new songs? Yeah, it's your girl Black Pop. Check it out. Follow me on Instagram at It's Black Pop. Backup page. So toxic. It's your girl Black Pop. Check it out. I'm out.